Well, folks, thank you very much for coming and watching Turbo Times Fortune Telling. And on tonight's show, we'll have Wallace Fro Frosch. I don't know how to pronounce the surname, but we'll just change that. Um, well, and this is my uh, guest, Wallace. Wallace, what's brought you on to, on to tonight's show? Thanks for having me on your show. I heard that you're the best fortune teller that there is right now. So I've been having some scary fortune, some scary things that's been happening to me. Like lately, I've been having a lot of scary dreams. Like there's dinosaurs chasing me and pterodactyls attacking me and all this crazy stuff and like spiders all creeping up on me. It's scary. What does these dreams and nightmares mean? Well, tell me us here, Wallace, do you watch much TV? For the way you're describing it, as if you've watched a lot of Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, I watch TV and, yeah, I do watch Jurassic Park. I do enjoy that. Well, you've came to the right program here for We'll Get You Fixed. Okay, that sounds good. So we will. Well, on tonight's show, we have sort of did a wee bit of newness to the cards. We have Odd, Even and Wild cards. Okay. That there's your Odd, your Wild and Even. Uh -huh. And if you would like to pick one card, Oh, what should I pick? I could pick anything you I want. You can pick or... anything you want. The wild cards is, is a surprise. Oh, I'm scared of surprises, so I just choose this. For number now. six? Yeah. As everybody can see that, there's a number. Uh-huh. That there's a uh, number six of clubs, so it is. Yeah. And that there, give us your hand there, Wallace. My hand? Yeah, oh. you hold that there. Okay. And we'll ask more questions about these dreams while you hold on to that card. Okay. And I will give you your fortune after all the questions. Okay. So tell me us here, uh, what time of night do you go to sleep at night? And then could you roughly tell me on uh, what time does the dreams start uh, at? Do you wake up early in the mor or do you wake up in the middle of your sleep mm -hmm. over the dream? Yeah, I usually go to sleep 12.30 at night. Yeah, a little thought. after midnight. Yes. Yeah, these dreams keep waking me up. I go wake up like at 1.30, wake up in a sweat, and then try to go back to sleep, and it comes back again like an hour or two hours later. It sounds like paranormal scared. activity. I saw that on DVD. It scared me, it scared oh. me, so I just switched it straight off. Oh, my gosh. You don't have CCTV around your room by any chance? I hope not. No? I don't think so. Sometimes there can be ghosts, oh. so there can be. Gosh, I'm afraid of ghosts. But at the same time, I watch too many movies, and movies, you know yourself, are a wee bit... Oh, so should I stop watching movies or TV? Well, it's really what's on your mind at the same time, Wallace. Oh. Have you a guilty conscience? I guess, yeah, I kind of. Could you tell me why? You don't have to explain yourself if you don't want to. I don't know, it's just... It gets have you done a real bad thing? Have you said a lot of bad words or something? I don't think so, no. No? Mm -mm. It's just these dreams just keep coming. They just keep coming. Yeah. Would they happen during the mid of the week, full yeah. week, or just weekends? Uh, happens most, just about almost every day. Every single Some, day? Not every th single day, but like four or five days a week, maybe. Well, have you something on your mind that can, that normally triggers those thoughts to come into reality in your sleep? Oh. I don't know, it just happens. Well, could you describe the dinosaurs? Are they chasing like, you or? Yeah, they're all chasing me. And then, like, I remember one time there was elephants and giraffes. It's a bunch of, it's like different animals, different days. Like, yeah, there was. Oh, so you've got your friendly animals and then you have your dangerous animals. Yeah. So it's a wee bit like hot and cold. Yeah, definitely. So you want the, you want the hot and cold just to be permanently switched off? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, like, how can I get, dream of better dreams or something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, there's always a way around something, and that's why you're here tonight in this show. Yeah. For I'm going to help you with that, I hope. Okay. Thank you. But uh, with that, there are six of clubs. Yes. That gives you six lucky charms. Oh, six lucky charms. Okay. Yeah. I can only tell you three of them. Oh, okay. And then the other three will be told in your sleep. Oh. And then you can come, you can come back onto this show and explain what these three lucky charms were during your sleep. And the oh. first lucky charm will be that you have a good night's sleep and you have proper dreams. That's good. No more dinosaurs chasing you or spiders. Oh, good. Thank goodness. And then the second charm is you're going to win the lottery. Oh, yeah. Whenever the next that. big 
It is. I'm not too sure. Oh. And then the third charm is you're going to get married, Yay. have kids and children, and oh. a nice house, nice car. Oh, that's exactly what I hope that they're all what comes true now, but you have to come back onto the show now, Wallace, to tell us the, the next three lucky charms. And they only work oh. through your... You, you'll be told that in your sleep. Through my sleep, okay. That's what the six of clubs is. Okay. I'm oh, glad you didn't go for a wild card. Me neither. For I, I wouldn't have known what to say there. Uh, yeah, I was afraid <laughs> to take risks. <laughs> yes. Well, no worries. Well, thank you very much for having us on the show. Was. Thank you for having me. I feel cured. Well, we'll know, we'll know next show whenever you come back. Yes, definitely. Thank you very much, Wallace. Thank you. You have a good evening. You too. And on tonight, and we have another host, and we now have Yufon uh, on the program. I should have really mixed those cards up, Yufon, because that's not really fair. I guess the producer forgot to hit the, the break button, but sure. <laughs> uh, how are you t this evening? Hey, how are you? Really good, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what's brought you on to this program tonight? Well, um... I just got out of jail. I used to be a uh, Hong Kong Mafia member. So uh, the jail makes me lost uh, everything. I want to know when, sh uh, when can I be rich again? Rich again? Yeah. What were you doing before uh, you went to jail? I kill people for leaving. Well, I'm afraid in case I gave you the wrong card, in case I got killed in tonight's show. No, you won't. But you at least I have 100 that. million viewers that's witnessed it though. Um, so what gave you the interest in killing people? Uh, they pay me, uh... Well, tell me, were you a hitman? Yeah, were kind of. Kind no, of? The, the hitman's kind of contract killer. I'm, I'm just killing people for fun. And you're just out of jail? Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. Kind of. So I don't have... My personal opinion, they should have kept you in jail, going about killing innocent people. How am I going to cure you with these cards? Because I'm sitting here shaking in case I get murdered. Uh, well, on tonight's show, we will cure you from not killing people. Okay. Well, tell me us here, what card would you like to pick? We have odd, even, and we have a wild card. We'll just not give you a wild card because you seem to have a wild kind of personality. Mm, let me so don't be picking those four. Only pick those four? No, they're wild. You're wild enough. Okay, um, what about eight? What made you pick number eight? Uh, eight means rich in China. Eight means rich? Yep. Well, in my own opinion, it's just a number. Well, it's like, um, I don't know. It's so like you want to be rich with that club of eight? Yeah. Right, uh, you you really, really want to be rich with that card. How's that card going to make you rich? Uh, I don't know. That's why you're on this program, so I can tell you your fortune. Yeah. And hopefully it's a good fortune. So it is. Well, since you've picked the, uh, the eight of clubs, with that fortune, I can only give you, I think they're going to actually put it down to two lucky charms. And the other six is that you actually have to work that all out for yourself and then come back onto the show and tell me what six lucky charms you have gained. So it is, that's the way it works in this program. So if the, those two lucky charms is, for a start is, you're not going to be killing anybody for a living. What? Yeah. I and you're actually anyone. going to have to do a decent day's work. Oh, that's you're actually going to have to get out of bed in the morning, eight to nine, and do a day's work, honest pay, since you're out of jail, you don't really want to go back in it. So that's the two lucky things I can approve for you. And you'll have to work out the other six and then come back onto the show and tell us on uh, what you've achieved. Okay. Yeah. So I have to walk like a normal person? Yep. Uh, it's not that hard to do. I do it. I will try that. Okay, thank you for that. No worries. You have a good day and don't be murdering anybody in the studio. Okay. See you later, you fun. Yep. 
And that there is on tonight's program. Well, thank you very much for watching Turbo Tom's fortune telling. We had a lot of wild ones in this evening, but thank you for watching and good night. <clears throat> You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going.